soul family, my soul tribe, light workers, star seeds out there, friends. I missed you all. I am back. Uh, so this is my new location. I still have the same bed spread and Sandy somewhere in the background. So um, before we get started with the readings, you know that I always do a mini meditation with my, of course, uh, singing bowl. So of course, I'm going to invoke, uh, you know, my higher self, spirit, the universe, my fairies, uh, my archangels, my angels, earth, mother earth, also to sustain the healing and uh, the singing bowl and the readings. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to invoke uh, my ancestors. So I will be clearing you and uh, just uh, take a deep breath in. And whatever it is that's bothering you in the daytime, whatever it is, not just in the daytime, but on an everyday basis, if there's something that's like really heavy or stagnant, okay, and you just need to relax, uh, just close your eyes if you want and listen to the singing bowl. So let's get started. on the side for a second and i just want to say a big thank you to all of you uh, to that have been uh, sending love to my mom um who have been praying for my mom or my family a big thank you my mom says thank you very much and she's still praying for you uh, three times a day here on youtube and also on the collective and yes she has her good days but she also has her bad days and so again she thanks you for uh, letting her lean on you sometimes too so when she really needs it and so she asked me to say that to you and uh, so I am relaying the message so um, we want to send you if you want to just take a second we want to send you um, a hug a virtual hug to everybody out there uh, close your eyes if you like and you don't have to and uh, just feel from the heart chakra my mom and I Joannina and I are sending all of you out there a hug of love peace um, and um, happiness and also um, light. Again, I want to thank everybody here for those of you that have been supporting me on this journey. Um, as much as you, I have your back, I know that all of you have my back. And uh, so again, a big thank you to all of you YouTubers and also those of you that are in my community for 27 years. Thank you very much for all being here. And now I know that a lot of you have been waiting for the readings, so let's get started with the readings. I'll be right back. Hi Libra, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 1st to the 7th of 2021. Hope that you're all doing well. How are you doing, Libra? I hope at this time you're all doing well, and um, I am doing well as well. Thank you so much. I am in my new space and new, new location. And I, still, I do have news for all of you. Uh, I do have underneath the video, you will see everything that is needed for your healing processes. <coughs> everything that's underneath the video of my video is there to help you in any way, shape or form. And I do have my personal assistant now and it's my daughter. So my daughter, Bianca, is on board. She will be answering all your questions. Uh, so feel free to message her 
if there's any questions, readings, or uh, anything that you need to know, it's all there. And let's get started with your reading. We're going to start off with uh, the Ascendant Masters deck. This is the new deck that I'm bringing in uh, into the reading. So this is about, this is the Ascendant Masters. I think this was given to me from one of the subscribers out there. So thank you very much. I really love this deck. So let's get started. And I will also read the additional messages that come with it. After that, I will give you an animal totem card. I will give you uh, what you need to surrender to. And last but not least, your angel numbers. And then we're gonna get started with your reading. Okay, Libra, let's get started. Okay, Libra. What is the messages from your Ascendant Master? Ascendant Masters. You got one card. And you got crystals. Epona. Crystals. So we're going to take a look at, at it closely. I'll read, uh, I'll read the additional meaning. And also why this card came to you. This card comes to you as a sign that you, you'd benefit from working with crystals. Epona, the fairy queen, knows the value of connecting with the spirit of nature. You can find or purchase crystals at metaphysical bookstores, spas, and gem shows. Hold each crystal to know whether it feels right to you. Carry or wear the crystals throughout the day for healing, protection, and increased intuition. You can also add the crystals to your bathtub, water, or place them on your bedroom nightstand or beneath your bed to connect on an even, even deeper level with this remarkable crystal, uh, gems. The additional meaning is crystal children are involved in the answer to your question. Your life purpose involves working with crystals. You have a connection to the ele elemental realm, such as fairies and crystals. And since, since Epona is a pa patroness of horses, this card may signify a message about a horse or horses. So crystals, beautiful. Now we're gonna look at your animal totem. Dolphin energy, dolphin I told him is uh, your uh, weekly is your week is in this is it here this week for you. Sorry, Archangel Joes, and it says live joyfully in the present. Live joyfully in the present. Okay, and now we're gonna see what you need to surrender to. I'm tongue tied tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> is in Gemini <clears throat> and on the 25th it will switch to Cancer for those of you that do want to know that surrender your fear of change again you see a horse there uh, the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or a relationship or if you're fear you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation I have faith that all is well I have faith that all is well is well and so it is now we're going to look at your angel numbers together <clears throat> you got number 19 which is equals to a 10 to a new beginning i am a pioneer libra independence and self-sufficiency are necessary to you you are extremely capable in life and work 
<clears throat> and aren't afraid <clears throat> to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. Number 19. The next card you got is a master number. Number 22. I am aligned. Libra, you are in the possession of incredible creative powers and is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. Number 22. Last but not least, you got 1010. I am patient, being on the right track. Libra, keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that the angels are working behind the scenes to help you. So if you see these numbers this week, will be a confirmation of this reading for you. So now let's get started with your reading, Libra. So this reading, Libra, is for Libra, Sun, and anywhere that you have Libra in your chart. This is your reading. Anytime you see this, will be the right time for you. Remember, it, remember it's a general read, but if your reading resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't, look at the other placements in your chart. In this reading, I will show you your recent past, your current energy, <clears throat> your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. <clears throat> After that, whatever signs that show up in your reading, I will do a bonus round of heart to heart, soul to soul. And after that, we will do also, I will give you a crystal card, a sacred geometry card, and last but not least, a card from the universe. Okay, the cards are ready. And let's get started with your reading. Cards are just flying. Okay. So, <clears throat> for some of you, <clears throat> you are dealing with a lot of life lessons. What I feel in the in the energy already. Okay. So in the overall, you got the ten of wands reversed. This is past tense. Something here where you were you were carrying so much on your shoulders in the last ten years, or it could be more than that. Okay, nineteen years for some of you. Where something got lifted. In the recent past, you got the Three of Cups followed by the Six of Cups. This is about feeling nostalgic about the past or people or situations of your past. Maybe there was a lot of interferences with people, places, or situations here. Okay, that caused for you not to have that happiness that you truly desired. You know, about growing old with someone, you know, or this could be just feeling contented. And in the recent past, the Spirit says here that, uh, there, you know, some of you were wanting or expecting someone to come in to give you a message and there was no message. Or that maybe some of you cut some, some of you have uh, have cut people from your past completely as well, okay? And not going forward to really tell the message, you just cut people out. Now, this reading is about you, Libra, but feel free to swap the energies around if you feel it's about someone else. In the current energy, you've got the High Priestess. Okay, so your intuition is right on tack in this current energy. You're following through your intuition. But you also got the Queen of Pentacles reversed, followed by the Magician reversed. Okay, so someone here is not manifesting at this time. Maybe you're feeling unstable. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's unstable. Maybe some of you are not feeling stable in your finances. Okay, whatever the situation, we're going to look deeper into it. In the possible outcome, you got Judgment reversed. So there was some type of judgment that already took place with this Ten of Wands. In the Hopes and Fears, you have the Five of Cups and the Strength card. So a lot of you are working at this time in releasing the hurt, the guilt, the resentment, whatever this connection was for you, to find the silver lining to what truly happened, to change your perspective and seeing the whole... Instead of looking at what really happened, you need to look at it in a different way, Okay. Uh, and with the card, strength card, this could have happened in sometime August and September for some of you. I also say September of 2021, uh, where 
uh, you know, yes, there, there's a beautiful healing that will be taking or had, had already took place for you or will be taking place for you. Some of you are dealing with Leo energy. Um, for others of you, this is about your self-worth. It's about having your courage, the strength, and the self-confidence in yourself. And what is in from you is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. There's a, someone here that's codependent in a situation. And in the possible outcome, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're putting energy on, keep doing that, whether it's within yourself, because you've got the Ace of Cups, and this talks about abundance that's coming in for you. Now, of course, it also talks about uh, unconditional love uh, and being at peace and forgiveness, but your heart is open. So now we're going to clarify the cards for you. Okay, so I'll use these cards here. Okay. Actually looking for another pair of cards. Let, give me a second. Yeah, I'm going to use these ones. Give these ones a break. Okay, Libra, let's look at this together. what's going on here let's look at the overall energy with the ten of wands reversed okay Whatever the situation was, this could have been about your happiness, maybe finding a soulmate or feeling happy in your environment with your family, your friends, whatever situation here, um, there was something here that was very, uh, there, was, there was a lot of obstacles when it came to your emotions, maybe a relationship or a soulmate energy, uh, where you lost a lot of sleep, but something like this, like I said, something got lifted and Spirit said with the Seven of Wands is that you overcame the situation or you already overcome all these energies that are coming towards you. Now let's look at the Three of Cups of the recent past here. So let's look at the Three of Cups. We've got the Three of Swords. There was heartbreak here, definitely. Loss, grief. Four of Cups, it could have been rejection for sure. And yes, it's about, uh, you know, rejection or, uh, you know, Spirit was trying to show you something of the past. Maybe some of you ignored the messages in the past. Okay, but definitely there was some type of interference, people or places, and there is heartbreak and grief here with the Three of Swords. So now let's look at the Six of Cups. Let's cross this. Again, the Ten of Wands, okay? Obstacle over obstacle when it comes to your emotions with your past, maybe with your mother, with your father, with your family life, but it's been, it's been very difficult. Again, the Ten of Wands is a Ten. You're very close to a journey to come home where you could rest here. And the 10 becomes a 1. So there is a lot, there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel here. Okay, for you. So let's look at the 10 of Wands, the 6 of Cups in the recent past, the Knight of Swords, and the Lovers Reverse, Gemini Energy. Yes, there was a choice. So there was an, in the past, there was an unexpected message that came in. Whatever this message, whether you gave a message or someone gave it to you, there was a choice here that was done. Okay, there was a choice. This is a divine connection. Whatever this connection is for you, it doesn't have to be just a lover. It could be a friend, it could be a family member. But there was definitely a choice that was done here. Okay, now let's look at the Knight of Swords reversed. When spirit, what spirit wants you to focus here? The Knight of Swords reversed. You got the Seven of Swords reversed. The Page of Wands, the Four of Swords. So there is definitely a lot of healing that's taking place here. A lot of healing. Someone here took a break. Okay, that's why someone is not coming in. They're not hiding anything from you. There was maybe something they were trying to hide from the in the past. But what I really feel here is that someone take, really took time off. Okay, uh, took time to heal. There was some type of time out or break up here, uh, and it's about finding the clarity that you needed. 
and healing yourself because you're putting, putting energy into that. And with the Page of Wands is a new beginning and passion for you that's taking place. And this is about divine timing that's coming in. There's positive news and there is a Queen of Cups energy here that's very loving, very nurturing, very mother, motherly energy. And someone that is emotionally available. All right. Now in the current energy, let's look at the High Priestess here. You got the Six of Cups. The Ten of Cups reversed again. The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, releasing the past, nostalgic memories of a, maybe a marriage or or or, or a commitment or uh, so, so, you know a soulmate or someone that you were happy with, not being contented, not being happy. A lot of the emotions here, okay, of nostalgic of what you've been releasing. But you've been following your intuition, okay, and you're really listening to your gut feeling. And uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter being here, it's about second chances that are taking place. Something's faded, destined, and there's luck here, okay. Now let's look at this Queen of Pentacles reversed. You got the High Priest and the High Priestess. Higher learning and higher understanding taking place in the current energy. Okay, beautiful. Learning the life lessons. This Wheel of Fortune is bringing you the Ten of Pentacles, Fruit of Life. This is unexpected money, maybe two people coming in. Whatever it is, there's stability that's coming in. Higher learning and higher purpose is taking place for you. Let's look at the Magician reversed in your current energy. You've got the Five of Wands reversed, followed by the Page of Cups, followed by the World reversed. Unfinished business, there's closure. Maybe you need the closure, okay? Maybe you are going to do closure, but there is uh, un, uh, unfinished business or tying up loose ends that are taking place still. This had to do with people that were, uh, you know, a lot of drama and fighting around you, energies of envy or jealousy, okay, uh, in situation here. Uh, unfinished business in a situation. Maybe you, like I said, need the closure. You need to do the closure, Libra, because sometimes people have to do their own closure, right? Or there's unfinished business or you're tying up loose ends here because there is going to be a new emotional experience taking place. You've got the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands energy in divine timing. So now let's look at the judgment reversed in the immediate future. You've got the Three of Wands reversed. The Magician. And the Tower. Definitely here, Pluto coming in. Unexpected change with the tower. For some of you, it's about your manifestations coming in, okay? And you are manifesting to your highest degree and power, okay? So you are manifesting and the tower is coming in to change judgments and things that took place in the past that you got defeated from. Now let's look at the strength card and the five of cups here in the hopes and fears. You got the Empress, the Hangman, the Strength Card, the Six of Swords, one more card, yes, and the Ace of Wands. Beautiful healing taking place. Okay, here, beautiful healing, having self confidence, taming something within you. Okay, definitely here. Something was stagnant. You're in the cocoon stage. You're idle, thinking about the, thinking about everything that took place and I needed to surrender. What I do see here with the Empress, the Six of Swords and Ace of Wands, a lot of transformation that has to be taking place here where you have done the work. Feeling passionate within you, starts within you, then it goes and it's out there. Beautiful transformation here. Uh, going through a transition, going through a phase or going through something here where you will be able to recover. Some of you will be relocating or moving and there's new opportunities that are here. New opportunities, having that Midas touch with the 
Empress energy. Venus is helping you out here big time. Jupiter is also helping you as well. Okay, and, and the, the planet, of course. And um, it's about fertility, creativity. It doesn't have to be pregnancy. It could also be about creative ideas, new ideas that are coming towards you. That will bring you this Ten of Pentacles. Remember, Jupiter is right here. You're following your intuition. Okay, you're right on target. All right, so now let's look at the Nine of Pentacles reversed in. What is hidden from you? You got the Two of Wands. Karma. The King of Pentacles reversed in the Ten of Swords. What's the overall? There's some type of codependency here. Okay? There's something that's off balance in what is hidden. Whether it's finances, whether it's people, whatever it is here. Not holding back or holding on to anything any longer. The Ten of Swords talks about where there's an ending, something of karmic, which it is. Karma. There's an ending that's taking place here for you. There could be something coming for you. But again, I got the King of Pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn here. For others of you, this could be a business or feeling unstable in a situation. But I see that you're making plans moving forward. Determination, willpower here. But still not going after your dreams. There will be messages coming in. Very passionate messages. Very fast-paced messages. Whatever the situation is, there could be a closure. There will be a closure with the Five of Cups reversed or some type of reconciliation. Whatever it is, there's a closure or reconciliation, okay? It depends who you are. Now let's look at the Ace of Cups and the possible outcome. And look at that. <laughs> you got it twice. This is abundance, okay? Abundance is coming in. Double abundance, Libra. Finally, being at peace, that feels, that's amazing. You got the Page of Pentacles. There is an offer here. It's a start of where maybe once you felt left out in the dark, where you probably didn't have enough money or there was some type of abandonment. There is definitely, definitely here, Libra, an offer coming in. It's a start of, it's a beginning of, okay, of two people coming together. Healing will be done. Whatever if this whatever this is, if this is has to do with a relationship. You got the four of wands. There is a proposal here. There will be a proposal, an offer coming in for you. Definitely many offers here. Where your home will be stable, you'll be happy in this home. There will be not no interferences in this home. This could be about special events taking place in your home. Okay, beautiful. You have a lot of options, but don't let it don't let it um, keep you. Uh, distracted don't be confused about what's coming in because you've been wishing for this uh, yes remove the veil open your arms okay there is a decision that has to be rendered here with the two of swords you got number 22 and let's see if there's anything else here for you the strength card so you are definitely dealing with leo there's a beautiful healing this is about you yourself for some of you it's about having the courage having the strength and the self-confidence in yourself and underneath the deck, you have Scorpio. So this is in Scorpio season. This is going to take place for some of you. This is an ending, a new beginning, and a beautiful transformation that's coming for you. Very beautiful to see that. All right? So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Libra. And now we're going to look at the bonus round. First, I will take out all the signs that showed up in your reading. Then I will also take out the planets that are affecting you this week as well. For those of you that do follow your chart okay so give me a second
Okay. All right. First, I will tell you which planets are affecting you. This could be like a conjunction, sextile, or a square. Okay, for those of you that do follow your chart, there is astrologycafe.com. Uh, there's also astro.com as well. Okay, so I will first tell you the planets and then we'll get into the signs. So the planets that are affecting you uh, is, of course, Jupiter, Lilith, uh, Pluto, Venus. That's it. Those are the, the planets that are affecting you in this week. Okay. So now we're going to look at the signs. This is heart to heart, soul to soul. So I will give you what it means, heart to heart, soul to soul. This is a bonus round. Uh, this is about being vulnerable. And a lot of people do have a hard time being vulnerable. Okay. So uh, again, this can be about yourself in the chart. This could be about... Uh, you know, your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, your family, so many people. It could be about someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time. It could be about someone that crossed over. They have probably messages to give you. Um, this could be you giving a message to someone, Libra, or there's someone here that's giving a message to you. Okay? So let's see what's going on here. Oops. Okay. So not to get confused, I will put this all on the side and we're going to start with one. Okay. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, Libra, what are the messages here? I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. They have anger. I want your attention. They have guilt. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. There's a secret here. They're feeling anxious. I'm still moved by you. You're calm as well. I just want to go back in time. Our eye contact is insane. And your words speak to me like no others can. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Libra. If you're dealing with a Leo, Libra, a Leo. I want to talk to you. They're feeling nostalgic. They're also in denial. They're excited. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're apologetic. I'm making plans. They have gratitude. I can't stop thinking of you. They're distant. I'm sorry I triggered you. Anything else for Leo? Yes. You hit me out of nowhere. Anything else for Leo? Yes. I won't let you go if you're dealing with a Leo. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, a Gemini, you give me so much to look forward to. They're confused. They're fantasizing. Good. They have good intentions. I don't want to miss my chance with you. I'm working on myself. I remember everything you said. They're guarded. There's also they're also doubting. They're nervous. Anything else for Gemini? That's it for Gemini. Okay. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're wishy-washy. They're passionate. You will always be my secret love. You're feeling cold. Or they are cold. They're stuck. They're annoyed. They're bitter. They have resentment. They, they, they are daydreaming. If you're dealing with a Leo. You are so unexpected. They're blocking. I miss you more than you know. They're feeling nostalgic. They're heartbroken. Anything else for Leo? Yes. They have sadness. You are the only one who truly gets me. Is with Leo. Last but not least, if you're dealing with a Taurus. They're loving. My karmic story is ending. They are safe. They have shame. 
I can't walk away. You change my whole direction. I'm trying to figure things out. Trust me, suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. They're honest. I am overthinking everything. They're excited. They're, they have joy and they have grief. What we have is, a, is a soul recognition. I want a future with you. They're feeling triggered right now. You, we will be together again. You are old flames. I don't want to let you down. This is what they're going through if you're dealing with a Taurus. So I hope that you did enjoy the bonus round. And now we're going to look at what crystals you will need this week, Libra. Okay, you got two crystals. First one you got is oh, this is a new one. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a Galena. Galena. G-A-L-E-N-A. -E and it's shiny metallic gray. So it uh, it this is for the root chakra. It grounds and centers energies and brings harmony on all planes. Okay, Galena. The next one you got is Selenite. This is, uh, it, it depends on the color because it varies the color, whatever the color is of Selenite, because it could be translucent in white, brown, pink, orange, blue, green, or clear. Okay, it will, it depends what chakra. Okay, it varies and it opens the crown chakra, it protects the aura and mind from influences, opens the mind to see the bigger picture, stabilizes emotions, and allows understanding of the subconscious. So Galena and Selenite are the crystals that you can need for this week or for as long as you need them. Now we're going to look at the sacred geometry for you. For This one wants to come out. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. you got master number. You got number six. Number six. Prosperity, right? So you need to protect yourself. That's why this card came out. You will have to take a screenshot. For some of you who already have this, for others of you that do not have this card, please take a screenshot. You can use it on your wallpaper and also you need to trace this. So this is about releasing fear, heightened intuition and protection. And your affirmation for this card is, I release all fear and unwanted energies that no longer serve me and are holding me back from reaching my true potential. Another time, I release all fear and unwanted energies that no longer serve me and are holding me back from reaching my true potential. And so it is. When the Raven Magic card appears, it has asked you to call upon Raven's essence to gently guide you out of the shadows of darkness and fear and into, the, into your light. He will protect you from harm and unwanted energies while teaching you how to strengthen your intuition and inner guidance. Raven is here to show us when change is inevitable. So many, so many of us fear change, fear the unknown, and fear stepping outside the square. He allows us to see our shadow selves, but rather than us fearing what we see, he shows us how to deal with the obstacles and challenges. Raven acknowledges the changes are difficult, but he shows us how to anticipate the end result by using our perception, wisdom, and intuition. Through Raven, we can release the unwanted and outdated belief systems that we carry within our energetic bodies and thus begins our ability to shape, shift, and shed. The practical application of this card, creating changes within our lives and energetic bodies, allow us, allows us a clear space to work with our intuition and to gain a higher perception and deeper wisdom. By heightening our perception, we can bring through some messages and visions. There is a strong shamanic stick presence in this grid. It can also be used in earth healing and shaman work. Sage works well with this template. All right, so um, 
what you could do is what you do with this is that you trace it and you could leave it where you work in your home in your car just to protect it's really good for protection and the essence of this is of course the raven it's also the owl the spider and the wolf and the crystals is labradorite, black tourmaline, black kyanite, aquamarine, or rose quartz that you can use. For me, my favorite when I see this card, and what for me, I for me anyways, for myself, it doesn't have to be for all of you. Black kyanite for me is like number one. Okay, so you got this master number six, and last but not least, let's look at what the universe has in store for you. Libra, we got number 28, which equals to a 10. It says, you are the greatest gift. I love this for you, Libra. And it says, your, your life's journey is your masterpiece. Your life's journey is your masterpiece. So thank you, universe, and thank you, Libra, for listening. I hope that you enjoyed your, your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back, and I love you all. And remember, we are one, and we are love. Please take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.